online arts community. Welcome to Fleetwood Jordan Theater Stay Creative in collaboration with Piven Theater Workshop, a journey through the history of black theater, a series with me, Professor Bria Walker. Today's black theater history lesson is on playwright, producer, director, and American Theater Hall of Famer, George C. Wolf. For those of you who caught our last lecture, you'll know that Wolf directed the revival of Shuffle Along. Wolf was born on September 23, 1954 in Frankfort, Kentucky. His mother, who was a teacher, was also principal at the private all black Rosenwald Laboratory School where Wolf received his elementary education and discovered his interest in directing. Wolf has said that he came out of the womb directing. He has joked in interviews that when he would play house with his cousins, he would always give them lines to say. As a teenager, Wolf attended a summer theater workshop at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio, and began directing plays. He received his BA in theater from Pomona College in Claremont, California. While in college, Wolf wrote and directed his first play, Up for Grabs, for which he won a Pacific Southern Regional Award for Playwriting at the American College Theater Festival. The following year, he won the award again for his play, Block Party. After doing a six-month artist residency at Pomona College, Wolf staged several plays in LA before moving to New York City to attend graduate school at NYU. He would graduate in 1983 with an MFA in dramatic writing and musical theater. In 1985, he premiered his plays Paradise and the critically acclaimed The Colored Museum. Both productions garnered him national attention, as well as the attention of New York Shakespeare Festival founder, Joseph Papp. Following the premieres of the 1989 production of Spunk, which Wolf directed, wrote, and adapted from three tales written by Zora Neale Hurston, Joseph Papp would name Wolf a resident director in the company. Fleetwood Jordan Theater will be producing Spunk as part of its 2020 summertime season. This critically acclaimed adaptation was originally developed at the Mark Taper Forum in LA and was first presented in New York as a co-production of the New York Shakespeare Festival and Crossroads Theatre Company. According to Dramatis Play Service, quote, Hurston's evocative prose and Wolf's unique theatrical style blend to create an evening of theater that celebrates the human spirit's ability to overcome and endure. Utilizing the blues, choral narrative, and dance, these three tales focus on men and women trapped inside the, quote, laughing kind of loving kind of hurting kind of pain that comes from being human, end quotes. In 1992, Wolf made his Broadway debut with Jelly's Last Jam, a musical about the life of jazz musician Jelly Roll Morton, which he directed, was the librettist, and co-lyricist. He would go on to win the Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Book of a Musical for the show. In 1993, he won a Tony Award for Best Direction for Tony Kushner's Pulitzer Prize winning play, Angels in America, Millennium Approaches. In that same year, he became artistic director and producer of the Joseph Papp Public Theater, New York Shakespeare Festival. During his 10 season run as artistic producer, he would produce notable productions such as the smash hit, Bringin' a Noise, Bringin' a Funk, which he wins his second Tony Award for, Elaine Stritch at Liberty, and Susan Laurie Parks' Pulitzer Prize winning play, Top Dog, Underdog. He would go on to direct a string of hit shows. Some of them were Take Me Out, Mother Courage and Her Children, Caroline or Change, the Normal Heart, A Free Man of Color, and Shuffle Along. Wolf then began to delve into film direction with films such as Lackawanna Blues, Nights in Rodanthe, and The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, which he was co-writer on. In 2009, the Civil and Human Rights Center in Atlanta, Georgia named Wolf the chief creative officer in charge of overseeing the creation of design concepts and themes at the museum. Wolf spent six years designing and bringing to life experiential and immersive exhibits for the museum. 
In 2013, he was inducted into the American Theater Hall of Fame. In 2017, Wolf, a member of the President's Committee on the Arts and Humanities, along with his fellow committee members, resigned in protest of the comments President Trump made following a white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, where protester Heather Heyer died. The resignation of the full committee made them the first White House agency to officially dissolve under President Trump. In 2018, Wolf returned to the Broadway stage and directed a revival of Eugene O'Neill's The Iceman Cometh, which starred Denzel Washington. In 2019, he was nominated for a Tony for his direction of Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus. Stephen Maglet of the Ubuntu Biography Project had this to say on Wolf, quote, openly and unapologetically black and gay, Wolf has made his mark bringing unconventional works to life and used his unique perspective to give a new twist to old classics, end quote. Of Wolf, Bell Hooks wrote, quote, he brings to his work in the theater a new vision, on all levels, he seeks to disrupt the conventional patterns of domination and the race, class, sex hierarchies that have been enshrined in American theater. George Wolfe epitomizes the engaged artist and critical thinker who dares to unite theory and practice." End quote. Wolfe continues to this day to direct, write, and produce exciting, historically rich, engaging art. Wolf has made incredible contributions to the American stage and screen. We can't wait to see what else he will contribute down the road. Join us next time as we turn another page in the history of Black theater.